Uh, what's up, user? Welcome back to part 26. And I just found some full stores. Sweet. <laughs> Use them later, and oh, we've got the fighting brothers, I'm gonna call them. It's basically they both have fighting Pokemon. Carbon and Petro. Yep. Carbon sounds like the carbon uh, mo molecule. Yep. Now let's see what he has. Medicham and a Golem. Ah. Uh, let's see who's going to take out Golem first. He's going to one shot it. Oh, power set. And Vibrava is going to make uh, pretty quick work of that Medicham. As long as it does not have Ice Punch or any uh, assortment of that. Yep. I don't think it won't do anything nasty. And that's all, and that, that's why I like Power Set as well, because obviously I can earthquake Power Set as much as I like. It's only the 10 damage each time. And oh I was, yeah. I'm surprised Earthquake did that much to Golem for that matter, actually. Yeah, they have a pretty good uh, physical defense stat, so, you know. Yeah. I was, I was really thought that it, without, ugh, oh, what phone? Don't, ah, good, it missed. The last thing I wanted to hit Power Set, because that would be super effective. It would? Isn't it Dragon and Ground, or is it just flying? No, oh, it's, yeah, it's Dragon and Ground. Because it has the Levitate ability as well. That's why I really wanted to teach it to hurry out my Earthquake. Oh, so Vibrava wouldn't get hit by it. Or yeah. a Parasect. And Looney Tone, so I have three Pokemon I can, you know, tag team Earthquake, but... But Parasect, well, Vibrava, I should say, for my pardon, doesn't want to learn Earthquake by leveling up. Because it's being too lazy to shake the earth. I see how it is. Yes. Even if all form Flygon doesn't want to do it either. So now that I know. Okay, well, I don't know why I crunched the golem. I should have crunched the exact. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a good idea. I don't know why I did that. And hit well, my chat. Yes. Now, I've actually only used this, I think, once. Well, I mean, it has. Good. I mean, it has the Iron Fist ability, which, that, that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, especially when you have the elemental punches and the priority move muck punch. And how did Power Set survive a plus force aerial race? Oh uh, yeah, and the last part, it got flamethrowered and it still survived. Oh yeah. I don't know how Power Set is not signed this, but his, his special ability kicked in, a Fetch Ball, which paralyzed the Zatu, but then his synchronized ability paralyzed me. Yeah. <laughs> So that pretty much just backfired. Yeah. Damn. But I have a move that can get rid of status problems, though. Refresh. Yes. For once, it is very useful in these kind of cases. Yeah, if I can get through it, though, that's the question. Can I get through power lines? Oh, yeah. Oh, hang in there, right, wherever. Yes. Well, the thing is, the only reason Passer still knows refresh at this point, because really... There's no other moves you say it. Can, no, no other yeah, you moves. really can't learn anything better. No. All you need is Spore Giga Drain, and, well, there's no decent bug moves you can learn, unfortunately. Well, doesn't it still have Slash on it? Yeah, it still has Slash. But that, that's so, for those, uh, flying types and stuff. Yeah, but once it gets paired up with a Steel type, that's it. It's a bugger. Because it, in Gen 3, it doesn't learn any decent moves whatsoever. Oh, yeah. I'm just going down the list now of its moveset. Well, I could, at least I probably could have called it Stun Spore Poison Powder, but... No, spore is spore's, spores just infinitely better than both of those. Exactly, yeah. And Hitmonchan decided to uh, wake up from his nap, or whatever he was doing. Oh, yeah, and, and then just went through Shadow Down. That, that's going to be... Problem because obviously hit my chance got not a good physical attack, but not as near as good as hit on Lee. I think if you, I, I mean if you give it a max nature, I I believe I think it is 336. I think is its max physical attack. I mean that's not as good as hit on Lee's, but you know. Oh yeah, cause still wreck stuff obviously. I mean I used one and it was and it, and it worked out well in those kind of cases. I mean it also has all the elemental punches. And those come out very nice as well. Yeah. I mean, Hit One Chan is one of the best Pokemon to counter Dark Eyes. No doubt about it. Oh, yeah, that Iron Fist Life Orb strategy. That that works out pretty nice because that yeah. then it does a crap ton of damage. And with his priority move, Muck Punch, which also get a boost from both of those. 
and the stabs as well. Oh yeah, that that rakes dark eyes. Uh, obviously he has hit more chance, so I'll, there's a high chance this guy's got hit more Lee. Oh yes. But now we now we get, I'll get a scar move, which completely walls Parasite. And, and I, it has the flying, so Fibrava can't do much either. No. Pretty much, Parasite is going to be death farther at this point, and Crunch is not even going to do anything to Grumpig. And it's confusing me. Why? That was pretty much a waste of a turn because both those guys are probably going to go down anyways. Yeah. Well, who knows? Even... Well, not, well, not with Fury Attack. Oh, that's all that's... kicked in. <laughs> Well, it would have been ah. nice if got paralyzed <laughs> right after that. <laughs> uh, that's just not fair. I was about to put it to sleep. Oh, and... Just up, don't hit just... Oh, god dang it. And then goes right over. Well, now we can have the opportunity to send out something good. M for us. Yes. And M for us should easily take them both out now. Well, that's the theory, anyway. Unless, you know, the sidekick decides to get a crit. No, oh, oh well, it's on Parasect, so yeah. they both go down in the same turn. How unfortunate. Yeah, but well, I got it. Looks like I'm gonna send a report on, which I really do hope, because it learns Surf. And why would you use agility? You're paralyzed. It's not gonna help you. I mean, they're still not gonna outspeed these two, so it's not like it actually matters. Yeah, a bit poor on that speeds everyone. Anyway, I don't know how that works. What's weird is that Bite did did pretty much more damage than Crunch did. Yeah, and Crunch has the higher, highest. Well, it's dark physical with special attack in Gen 3. That's the question I keep uh, thinking. I, th I don't remember. I think it's special because I used to have a dark type, and apparently whenever I got intimidated, it didn't seem to do anything different. Yeah, I guess you could always look it up on Google if you're that curious. Yeah, because you're just, uh, just looking up that how much Bite did. Compared to Crunch, and, and Bite gets... seemed to do more. Exactly. So, I'm... and obviously, Ombion's got very good special attack. It has 118. Just looking at that as soon as it leveled up. Oh yeah. And now Force has got 114. Ah, you're gonna try and copy me with Hariyama, are you? Ah. What if it had the exact same move set? Ah, oh, god. Ah, oh, come on. Let me take out the tank. Oh, paralyze. Uh, we'll still pull off that metal claw, but that's not going to do nothing. Oh, we'll both resist it. Exactly. I wish I had leftovers and be poor. I'm gonna. He'll get him later. Oh yeah, the Snorlax later. Yeah, spoilers by the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I mean they're going to find out anyways, but you know. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. I we try not to spoil all the Pokemon, but especially the last boss battle. Oh, gets oh yeah, we don't we don't want to spoil those. Those are those are classified information. Yeah, and here we have Hitmonlee. I show me and Aston's favorite fighting Pokemon. Because <laughs> we use them all the time. Actually, when I was a kid, I honestly liked Hitmonchan better because I used to have these old tapes of the original animes, which are just infinitely better than what they are right now. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. And I remember there was this one where it was the Hitmonlee versus Hitmonchan one, the, the one where they went into the arena and you know Hitmonchan got his like his foot stuck on glue or something like that. Oh yeah, and it, that's when Ash entered with his primate, I believe it was. And it wrecked crap. Yeah. And, and we never see Primate again. Oh, how I miss him. Yeah, but um, recently, actually, they're going to bring back Charizard in the Amine. The one that you said. Oh, 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 I've seen that. The, whole, the Charizard versus... What? <sighs> I forgot what it was. Flash around. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that that's a great... That, that is a great match right there. Uh, well, but, well, first, looking at it... Well, looking at this, because I'm on Senebi, it says Charizard versus Iris' Dragonite. So that should be quite interesting. See how the ball that somehow remember that one, the Battle Frontier one where it was like Charizard versus an Articuno, yeah. I believe. Yeah, I remember that one. I mean why why did why did Charizard have so much trouble with Articuno? <laughs> I mean it's an ice type. I mean one blast burn or fire blast and it's gone. Yeah, I think Charizard knew overheat 
At that point, I think Ash's chance on the overheat. And that would have did a lot. So, I mean, it shouldn't have done. I mean, it shouldn't have been that bad. Oh yeah, I mean, you should have one shot at least or some. Whoa. Oh, that that, that Hitmon Lee was like, oh boy. Yeah, because he shadow down me, didn't he as well? Well, yeah, but you know. You know. Yeah, I guess Vaporeon doesn't have the best physical defense. Well, that's that just shows how much of a beast Hitmon Lee is. Yeah. But look, he's not using his other shadow move, uh, Shadow Half. Oh, yeah, the one that does half damage to, to everybody. everybody. Yes, that one. It's great for catching Shadow Bolt one, you know, later down the line, but I never use it. And how many sets are useful for making them weaker? Yeah, but it hits everyone. Unless you use protect, I guess. Yeah, I think protect does work, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember if it does, but I assume it does. Well, there, I think the only move that goes through protect, I think, is faint, which nobody uses, or shadow force. Oh yeah, no one uses faint. Yeah, because I remember, I used to be so confused on how I use protect and yet shadow force still hit me. I was like, it went. That was the first time I've seen that happen. I was like, it actually goes through Protect. Yeah. And I was, oh, a bit of jump cut there, so obviously what I did was head back to the healing machine. It was good. better, you know, going all the way back there. Yeah, I highly doubt everyone will get bored of me watching it, and I've just missed the animator. But first, let's go down this way. We're going to have to find a hidden item. Oh, yes, and isn't those, uh, those three, uh, very rare uh, items here? Yes, they wear candies, yes. And I believe my brother is three or two levels away from evolving. I, I, th I think it's two. Yeah. So, I think in this part we're going to see my brother evolve. Oh, this will be most entertaining, people, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, max points, that would definitely come in useful later. Yeah, now, let's ride the elevator back up in the... Out from the endless abyss, there is down there. Well, it's not endless, but you know, yeah. not exciting. And I just missed the elevator again. Oh god damn it! <laughs> missed the elevator twice. Uh, Could you imagine that happening? You know, you were in a business place and you missed the elevator twice. Oh, uh, that'd be awful. That's like uh, missing your. That's like missing your plane ride. Oh, uh, that would be awful. Well, you you get to the pl checkout place, you're like, I've got my passport. Oh god damn it, now I have to drive all the way back. Exactly, yes. I mean, but why is it in every movie, apparently the fl the family just barely gets to the airport in time. I know, they don't, they don't thought, well, maybe should we leave 10 minutes early, or, you know, you know, just, you know, make sure we actually have everything ready. Oh yeah, and it looks like you chose out with probably the worst two that you could have. Oh yeah, have Aoyama and Paris set against... Well, what was I saying? Power set and Hariyama against Yama and Rosaria. Ugh. Because obviously, uh, that Yama is gonna absolutely wreck both of them. Oh yeah. Okay. Now my vi my side just like completely went. <laughs> the video went black for some reason. Oh god damn! This computer never buffers. Okay. Uh, when you get it back, we're at. Uh, let's see what. You know, like 3.30, I'll just, you know, just tell me where the video is and I'll try to get back because Okay, we're about to hit the 14 minute mark. Just like Brave Scratch comps. And uh, now, 14 minutes now. Okay. Oh my goodness, this computer is shit. This thing can't load anything. <laughs> and basically now it just restarted the whole video over again. Ah, uh, okay. And it's... Yeah, yeah, again, so now I have to, uh, cut all the way to, well, what time is it, like, 14 and a half? Uh, well, 14.20 now, but just skip to 14.30. Okay, good, I'm back. Thank God. And pass it, what's the learn growth? Now, learn growth, which will be, uh, that's useless. Well, that again. it would increase the power of Giga Drain, I guess. So that might be... Yeah, that's just full, but, oh, wait, which move did you get rid of? With fresh. Oh yeah, that that's right. So I, so I like uh, because Giga Drain doesn't have that. Obviously, it doesn't have that much P, uh, power points. <laughs> yeah. you? And with this miracle, it's just gonna get wet. 
Now, how is a Smurgle going to plant roots? It doesn't have any vines or any... Uh, because of its uh, signature move, Sketch, it can copy any move, including legendary moves. Oh yeah, so it can have crap, yeah, Smurgle using Roar of Time. Yeah, Dark Void, Spatial, and it can learn all those moves. Which is quite useful. For breeding as well. Oh yeah. I, I ha that's what I used to breed with my Eevee when I want one. It's Smurgle. Oh, you use the, uh, the, the Sketch. Wait, can Eevee learn Sketch in Gen 5? I no. believe it can. No, only Smurgle can learn Sketch. It's the only, it's his signature move. But, I mean, oh, I, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. It's what I do, I sketch which, wish, anyway, and then Eevee will learn it by reading. Oh, that's how you got that wish on that Vaporeon, is it? Yeah, that's how I, that's how I do it, because Smurg, any move that Smurgle wants, it's like, Smurgle can also read with um, Infinite as well. And is that how you got, like, Heat Wave or something? Yeah, Heat Wave, yeah, that's how I got it. So he's been with TM, uh, what was it, uh, what's it called, shards. Oh yeah, the, I, the elemental punches, you only get those, I believe, from shards as well. Yeah, unfortunately Infinite can only learn, can learn, it, actually, Infinite can learn Thunder Punch and Fire Punch by breeding, so that's okay. So if it, you know, if it ever faces a Gyarados of sort and it's not intimidated, it might actually be able to KO it. Exactly, Thunder Punch, yeah. Well, I guess Infinite can learn Stone Edge, just Thunder Punch is just better yeah. at that quad weakness. But then again, Gyarados can take electric type moves much better than some people think. Yeah, it's like uh, that one where I got two throws with Sanamas and Yam Mega. It, that guy will survive a Thunder Punch from my Electivire. Yeah, that in that crap, you know, Electivire has really good physical attack. So, you know, that that's that's that shows its bulkiness right there. Yeah. Well, it did get intimidated, but even so, it's four times too effective. Because that, that was my Follow Me one, and my Follow Me was not the most physical Pokemon I've got. Oh, yeah, isn't it? I think I, I now, tell my, I mean, don't think I've, like, violated something, but I do look at your passes every now and again. Yeah. And I think, wasn't that Follow Me a bold nature, I think? Yeah, it is. Like and that. now we just got our rare candies, which will be most beneficial. Yeah, for my brother, anyway. I'm going to give it level up to 45, and we should see it evolve. Well, hopefully that's... Well, let me just hope that I'm right here, but uh, I at least think it's level 45. Yay, it's level 45. Right. Yep. I was right. And yes, gonna... how I love my uh, remembering things. Yeah. So now I have Ligon. And it's gonna wreck crap. Well, if it, if it knew Dragon Claw, yes, but it's got Dragon Breath. And that, unfortunately. Well, it got Earthquake, so I mean, you got one great move. Yeah. And I think, you know, does Flygon actually learn Dragon Claw through uh, leveling up, or is it through TM? TM. It doesn't learn any other Dragon move except for Dragon Breath, and that's it. Oh, th that's a huge letdown right there. The only way you can actually get Dragon Claw on that thing is by going through the Ore Coliseum. Exactly. I mean, or get it from uh, Sapphire and, and whatnot. Oh, yeah. But even the, sorry, the only way you can get Dragon Claw is through, uh, I think it's the, you, have to, you, you, have, you need Waterfall. Because obviously you need to beat all eight gyms. And obviously that, that's, that's, uh, that takes forever. Exactly, so is it really worth it? No. <laughs> Not really. No. Now, I remember this one guy, he told me that, uh, no, yeah, it was this, uh, Ruby, uh, run he was doing through. He literally told me that he would restart his entire game just to hear one piece of music. One piece of music? You know that you can just go to a website and you can hear it from there, you know that, right? Well, he told me that that was before he could. Okay. What, what well, is he, this music that requires a whole new playthrough? The, the maxi, uh, Archie leader music stuff and Groovy uh, Sapphire. Oh, that one. Yeah, I admit mean, it is good, but it's a whole playthrough, but no, I don't think it's worth that just, time. Just listening for that? Eh, it's not really worth it. No. Uh, uh, it gets a crit, which is good, but uh, look at that Sable Eye, come on. It barely holds on by one HP, what yeah, the crap. And Flygon is just gonna wreck everything now. 
And it, unfortunately, I haven't, I haven't caught the Pokemon that has soft sand. You know, increases ground moves. Yet. Oh, isn't that? Uh, isn't that? Well, I don't want to spoil it, but I think it's at the end. Yeah. Right, or one of the, the well, the person who has the Salamence, I believe. No, the one before it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The one before. Yeah. The it's on the Dog Trail. Spoilers. Yes, that's why I didn't want to say it, but you know, you just said it for me. Yeah, but. Well, you're saying that, at this point, if anyone's playing for this game, you'll have the, what's it, shadow list, anyway. you see what Pokemon you'll be up against next, anyway. In order, for that matter. Oh, yeah. Well, for the people that uh, haven't played the game, yeah. Oh, uh, this can't be good. Air Cutter, oh god. Who is that going on? Who uh, is it going Uh, no way Parasite was going to take that. And it was a crit. Exactly. Yeah. And Flygon just pushes off like it was nothing. Well, at least he didn't do too much damage on Flygon, that is. Yeah, I don't think he even did 20. No, not even 20. 16. Exactly. Well, yeah, Flygon's a beast. Now, I'm, c I'm also confused about Shadow, uh, Ghost Moose. Oh, oh, hang in there, Looney Tone. I believe. Ghost types are physical moves. Yeah, I'm thinking that as well, because Shadow Ball doesn't do a lot of damage half the time. Oh yeah, like the Gen 2, I remember uh, Shadow Ball was physical, yet you're shooting a Shadow Ball at somebody. Exactly. Yet it's a physical move. How does that work? I don't understand it either. I don't, I don't think I misclicked it. I think that crunch was meant to go for um, Dust Scrops. Is that, is that, I mean, Shadow Ball should really KO it. If it was just, if it was Chen Four. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, Newton is now out because of that critical hit Shadow Punch. Goddamn. Crits, how much do you happen? Yeah, and I can't think how that uh, Crowbar either. Oh yeah, the Inner Focus ability. I remember I screwed myself over just because I forgot uh, some Pokemon have the Inner Focus ability. I forgot yeah. about it and I got myself screwed over. Yeah, I've, uh, I've done that. I, I actually faked out a Dragonite in one Wi-Fi battle. I was like, ha, you flinch. In the focus, prevent for flinching. I was like, shit. They got fake out. <laughs> I should have used it on the other one. Oh, yeah. And our cutter. Ooh, let's see. Oh, wow, that didn't do as much as I thought it was going to do. Yeah, how many almost taking it like nothing? And they got dust clubs. And. I believe his last Pokemon is a, a doozy. Should... A weird... Uh, this one. Oh, let's just see. Uh, it is Wailord, and this thing is much bigger than anything. But it's the bi it's the biggest Pokemon in ever. And it has yep. a decent amount of HP, but not many good defenses. Astonish. Wow, you still have that on that Crobat. But it worked. <laughs> it flinched. Oh. Wow, how are you? Are you two can well order with a quit. Nice one. You know, uh, you'd think for a big Pokemon, he would probably have really good defenses. Yeah, but no, it's, just, it's got a massive amount of HP, but defense wise, it's, it hasn't got nothing. Oh, don't get a quit on how are Ah, oh, good. Alright, now let's uh, finish this off. Yeah, there we go. Now we'll be losing Flygon for a while because this is level 45 now, and he's gonna be my trump card. Oh, yeah, he's probably the most powerful one that you have now. Yeah. Because I, I, I obviously level him up equally. And yeah, I like doing that, you know, instead of having one Pokemon that's like 10 levels higher than everybody else. Yeah. And, and surprisingly only... enough, Flygon can actually learn Flamethrower, yeah, and you get rid of Crunch for it. Yeah. I thought I might, well, I don't have a Fire-type move on any of my Pokemon, I think oh, it might be useful against Steel-types. Well, Skarmory's probably, maybe. Well, yeah, that's good. I mean, Ampharos isn't always going to be there. Uh, you could say. Yeah. Well, Umbion does still no Blizzard, but even now it's not super effective. 
And like I said, I'm going to trade it up for Icy Wind later, so that really th that is necessary. Oh yeah. And now we have one of the most complicated puzzles in the world, the crane puzzle. After this message. Honestly, <laughs> my first run, I didn't even, I just, I just said screw it, I just want to get the game done. Yeah. And I just skipped out everything. Well, I, I did grab the items, but I think I do it off screen. Because it, but then no, it, there's nothing important. It's not like saying rare candies or nothing like that. It's just the old provide and notable ball and timer balls. Oh yeah. I mean, obviously I'm gonna pick this one and see what's in it. Ah, timer balls to speak of the devil. That will be very nice for, especially for the uh, the last battle. Yep. The thing is, I've watched one LP and people and this guy says timer ball is the most useless ball. I beg to differ. The most useless, well, can't really say it's that, to be honest. Time balls can be very useful, if you have the patience. Yep, and we've got to end it there, because we're about to run out of time, aren't we? Yes. So stay tuned to part 27. Alright.